Hey, what's happening gamers? Welcome back to Mario Plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle here on the K-Wings Let's Plays channel and it's time for episode Dos Amigos. Make sure you tickle that like button because it's awfully lonely. It's broken for now, though considering how dangerous it is, I have a hard time believing the rabbits won't fix it. It's a cannon of some sort? I don't know. Yeah, looks like a broken cannon. Uh-oh. Trouble's brewing. These hombres are looking for a battle. Oh, that's not nice. <laughs> it's funny, though. Dear Meep. Uh, oh, that's the other woman. Or person. Oh, yeah. Dear Beepo, if one is to prevail, one must practice. Please sharpen your movement skills so you can turn the tables on those rascally rabbits. I've just uploaded a few suggestions to help you guide your team in the next battle. Quick, sign your biggest fan. FB. Facebook. It could be, I don't know. Defeat all the rabbits. Yeah. And no, we're not going to use easy mode. I'm guessing something bunny. You can deal damage while on the move by performing dash. Select a cell with an enemy and press A. I don't know, he's kind of sounding like Picard a little bit. That's fine. Yeah, he can be different. It, I think he has his voice chip malfunctions sometimes. Also, you can cover more ground with a team <laughs> jump. Select a cell with an ally and press A. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, so I've already showed you guys how to do that in the first episode, but uh, I guess they were going to do the tutorial. Cool. <laughs> this is a really handy move. Oh, wait, no, so. we didn't do team jump yet. I didn't do team jump. I have done the dash ability, yeah. though. Team jump is where uh, Mario is able to jump on the top of enemies' heads, but the bunnies can't unless you... Well, I really can't get into it, but later I will. How about an epic combo? After you dash an enemy, perform a team jump with an ally. After you dash? Uh, I don't really know how to do that. So we're just going to go with what I know and dash and then obliterate. So they're obliterate. saying you can dash and then jump on your ally? Supposedly? That's pretty cool. Eh. I'll have to try that sometime. Now, my way of playing XCOM is I like to get up in people's face, which actually doesn't work, but for this game... <laughs> From what I've played, it seems to work. Hello. I I use it in uh, XCOM on yeah. PS4. So I mean, definitely. I, I, like <laughs> I get up in people's face all the time. And we're gonna use the team jump thing, which you guys have seen. Whoa. But like I said, you can't use the bunnies to jump on other bunnies. Well, actually, sometimes if you're closer to the enemy, you have a larger percentage of hitting them. So sometimes it is good to be closer. But yeah, other... I'm, I'm gonna be closer. I'm, I'm saying. Yeah. We can't use the... Only Mario, as far as I know, can jump on other enemies. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No. So, uh, let's yeah. see. Yeah. But uh, it is good to have, like, Lucas showing. It is good to be uh, behind cover there, because then the enemy can't uh, get you. The main thing that we learned when we were at the Rabbids event was that you needed to have the cover between you and the enemy. Yes. Otherwise, you're out in the open, and it's never good. Yeah. And you can use the jump unlimited times, too. So it's a great way to get around certain enemies and stuff like that. So unfortunately, our bunny is going to be out in the open here, but we're going to take care of that bunny that's hiding right there. Yeah. And then on our next turn, we can go yeah. after those guys, or we can try to use the cover here, which she's not going to be able to hurt, hit anybody yeah. at all. So. And I kind of want to take them down. So in order to get perfects, the less you move the better oh okay that's how it works that's how it works hi there bye bye hey you're doing a great job Luke. you actually are really surprising me assassin rabbits because <laughs> <laughs> i was practicing Ow. just a little i thought i was gonna get further than you but you actually uh, ah you're doing pretty awesome i'm doing all right i think you're gonna be speeding through this i hope so i i really like this game though i mean i think this is a great game for people to you know who aren't used to this type of strategy game this is a really good introduction game well because yeah. these games can be pretty brutal like these yeah. strategy games well, like, yeah, especially, like, well, this one can probably get brutal towards the end, but thank goodness, if you get, if you get your, uh, fur flustered, 
and <laughs> whatever. There is like an easier mode Oops. you can switch to towards the, you know, if you need to. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, one thing I love about this game is it's not so intense and moody and dark. You know, it's bright and happy, so you don't have that to stress about. You have no. the happiness factor, and then uh, yeah, you can just worry about obliterating your enemies with happiness. I love it, the happy factor. <laughs> it's great. Yeah, I think when I was when we were in New York, I even said this game was like made for me because I love XCOM, but I also love happy things, so it's both of them together. Oh, that was... No, you can't really hit them from there. See, when they're oh, completely yeah. hidden from cover and they yeah. have uh, non-destructible environments, like yeah. those big blocks, you can't do any damage. So we're going to bring Mario over here, and for some reason he can't yeah. jump. Mario should be able to jump on that guy, though, so I don't understand what I'm doing wrong with the jump thing, but um. it doesn't matter. Bye. Yeah, I'll, I'll have to look into it. That's it. I think you might be able to... Perfect. Hit. Good job. See? Two out of four moves equals perfect. Oh, I see. Yep. Mm-hmm. Very good. Look. Well done. So let's explore this uh, environment and see if we can find I any secrets. I guess you were paying attention I that was... whole time. <laughs> I was nervous because Evelyn and Danny were there, too, and it was her first time, like, meeting in person. So I didn't really let the K-Wing Real Game Master come out and shine, you know? But now that I'm in the comfort of my own living room, and I, you know, aren't distracted by, like, all the different journalists and stuff going around, talking at the same time while trying to play and having the really loud headset music in my ears, I kind of understand what this game is about now, and I'm very thankful for all the tips that we got from Ubisoft, yeah. because it's well, going to make this playthrough more enjoyable. Actually, for me. when we were there, I think Luke actually had me learn uh, at the beginning, and then I actually flipped it over to him when we got to the harder stuff, so yeah, he got thrown into it. I got it. killed. Whereas with me, I got to learn little by little, and uh, but I think Luke did that because I really wanted to play this game. Oh yeah, she was super and, excited. Uh, I had a lot of fun, so and uh, we're very thankful to Ubisoft for uh, taking, uh, you know, sending us there, and also for getting us a copy of this early. So. All right, so as you can see, there's tons of hidden stuff all over the maps, and you really want to use your camera to kind of pan it around so you can find all kinds of stuff for your bunnies. And I missed that coin there, but oh well. Uh, I missed one coin. I missed one. They all add up. One coin adds oh. up to a, a lot of coins, so. And, uh, yeah, I cannot wait to get my hands on two-player mode with Luke and myself. And we'll be playing I, some two-player. I also definitely oh, oh, oh. will uh -oh. be covering this on my channel. Yes. Amber's super excited. All right, so what do they want us to do here? It's time to pull together everything you've learned thus far. Attack, movement, team jump, dash. Don't forget about cover. I haven't. Oh man, so many things to remember. That's a piece of cake. You can also switch heroes anytime using L and R, and between attack and move using ZL and ZR. Do your best. Right here. Right, I'm ready to go. Okay, Beepo, we got this. All right, so... Uh, oh my gosh. Oh, they don't have the this option. There's another now. thing that you can do in this game, guys, but they don't really give the option right now. You have the ability to survey the map by pressing oh, the X yeah. button. Um, that'll probably be unlocked later in the game. Let's see. Yeah, it looks Let's like you're go. playing like little mini uh, things right now. Well, you know, it's 30 damage almost every time you run into them, so it's good to use that move whenever you're able to because one, it limits your amount of turns so you can get a perfect, and two, you know, your characters, unless they finish the level completely, their health doesn't really regenerate. So you're going into each battle with like the same amount of health that was taken from you in, in the yeah, fight. Yeah, that is something I did notice. Yeah. Was... And Zelda's playing with a cat toy in the background, guys. Uh, in our next episode, we'll get up and put her away. So just enjoy her playful antics in the background. She's a kitten. There's not much I can do about it. I have cats. Okay, so that should do it. Was it th this many enemies or were there more? There might be one more. Was that it? There's more. Nope. Oh, great, and she's right out in the open. So this is what Amber was talking about before. There's no cover. <laughs> uh, I did a little bit of damage, but now both these bunnies are going to hurt Peachy. Oof. It's, oh, that's not good. Ah, this is bad. 
Okay, he just oh. he decided to go after Mario. See, I noticed with XCOM, if you're on the side of a building, you have a little bit of cover. But I noticed with this game, if the cover is not between you and the enemy, then you get hit. So I noticed it's a little different than... Yeah, the cover um, is very minimal in this compared to a lot of games using this style. But the way that they've executed it in the Rabbids game is both adorable and it works for, you know, the setting of the, the universe. I, I kind of like it because it's more realistic because you wouldn't really be covered if you were on the side of a building. Mm -hmm. Like, if you're, you know, if they flank you, they've got you. So. Yeah, totally. Okay, so uh, let's see. What about... Mm, let's try to move the, the bunny. And again, I'm switching characters by pressing uh, L and R. And still can't jump on them. That ability's not... I don't know why it said you could jump on the enemies, but it's not letting me. Um, I believe they were saying that you could um, run into the enemies and then jump on your friend after. No, I remember seeing the ability to jump oh. on the enemies' heads, Mario style. Um, I think you, maybe you have to unlock it later or something. I don't know. No, I think I just... I probably did that tutorial wrong, people. Um, over the course of the game, I'll try to figure out how to do it, but... For now, let's just uh, take these guys to school. Full buys. And that should do it. Another perfect. Bingo. <laughs> that was close, though. We almost, uh... Three turns. And see how when you get a perfect, like, your health regenerates? Like, you get more health? Oh, yeah, so that's a good thing about getting a perfect. But it's only after you've completed your you know, two or three levels of fighting. That makes sense. Perfect is green, green is health. Mm-hmm. Mario, the creatures with the headset got away, but I suppose you did clean up this mess. Yeah, you did. It's Mostly. A, it's a little emoji. It looks like a, a California raisin. And being a plant of my word, it looks like... Uh, I owe you a reward. Please don't vomit again. Please. <laughs> Ahem, good friend. Rabbit Luigi and Rabbit Peach helped as well. I say. He's just like, whatever. Yeah, yeah, great. He's not amused. The sunflower is not amused. Not amused at all. No! <laughs> he gave us a coin. Oh, pfft. What? <laughs> That's a rabbit for you. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love it. Okay, okay, here. Oh, it's... oh they wanted more. Uh, no, the rabbit was just offended. So it threw stuff. It's just bunny humor. I mean, it's probably been close to a six or seven years since you played a bunny game. Yeah. Sunflower. Uh, the 3DS game you didn't like all that much, but you did play the last party game, and you were like, yeah, "Bunnies!" I liked it a lot. But again, yeah. that was like six or seven years ago now. So, <laughs> thanks, Zelda. Uh, yep. Okay, so oh, we can get to the coins up there. Cool. And is there anything else in the area that's worth getting? Not seeing it. Coins. And, ooh, there's a chest over here. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay, that's later in the game. Uh, we actually learned how to move chests and stuff like that, but... Uh, I guess that's unlocked later. Maybe if I do it from the... Nope. Okay. Alright, fine. I just want to check. I like collecting things. I don't like backtracking. I'm just throwing it out there. Not a, not a backtracker. I'm a... Forward... Er... I don't know. Your forward walker. Forward walker. That works, yeah. Okay, so we'll just go across this bridge then. One thing I, I like so. about this too is when you run across the rabbits and you have the ability to, you know, scope in on their crazy antics. I think that's a lot of fun. And it shows the charm of the, the bunny franchise. So it's like both um, mascots are represented very well in this game. Yeah, I think so. It's Mario plus rabbits. Oh, I gotta do Toad. Oh no. Mario! Thank goodness you're here! Yours is the first friendly face I've seen! The Mushroom Kingdom turned into this mess! See, that's not bad. Yeah! <laughs> oh my gosh, no, my not. Toad is out of practice. Yeah, you're not You're not doing that. <laughs> you can do Toadette. Your timing couldn't be more perfect! I can't find Toadette! Ah! 
Oh my gosh. I know it's terrible. Like for Terrible Toad Voice. Yeah! I'm gonna give that a like for Terrible Toad All thanks to the changes caused by these odd pipes, our rabbit friends brought with them into your world. Mm. It's Sean Connery. <laughs> uh, whatever. Shadow's ears were like, ah. You guys, it seems you know what you're doing, sort of. Could you please help me find her? Please! Okay, but you're going to see first how big of a pain these pipes are. <laughs> My ears. I'm sorry. R.I.P. headphone users, it's Toad. No. Toad doesn't sound like that. Yes, he does. Maybe. Be quiet. <laughs> yeah, he sounds a little bit like Yeah, he sounds a little bit like Toad. Oh. Alright, so we're going to go in these pipes. So apparently, Beepo doesn't like the pipes, and we're going to find out why he's not a fan of the pipes. Because... Well, I mean, maybe because it goes through the water, or the fact that these are not your normal Mushroom Kingdom pipes. They're rabbit pipes. Rabbit pipes are crazy. Yeah, they are. Hello there. Ooh, more coinage. Yay, more coins. And remember, it's always good to get coins, because coins are always used to buy stuff. Okay, I, like I have no stuff. idea what this does. Never done this. Ooh. Oh, it's a bonus level. Bonus! Let's -a go! Whoa! Oh, this is kind of hard to control. Uh, okay, so we're gonna. I actually tried this a little bit ago and and you were actually doing way better than me. Ah! Uh, uh, <laughs> it's like tensing a muscle. Okay. I was all over the place. That's actually really hard to control. Yeah, it is actually. It uh, Maybe it's because of the camera angle or something? I don't know. But, uh, let's open this. Weapon? Armor? What? What is it, guys? Oh! A turbine! Weapon. So that looks like... See how it has the character's face on the weapon? Yeah, it looks like that's for Luigi, then. Rabbit Luigi. Yes. Yeah, sorry. Rabbit Luigi. Sorry, I'll get that right. <laughs> Rabbit Luigi's got a weapon. Bah! <laughs> yeah, that sounds Which, too old. When you guys buy weapons and you have limited funds, it's probably good to... Um, you know, pick and choose what weapons you're gonna get early on and not buy every single one, mm -hmm. but choose one that would fit your character really well because you're gonna have limited amount of coins. Choose and wisely. You want to upgrade. I would upgrade one weapon for each character first and then wait a while and then uh, get more coins. Yep. And switches in this game also, they unlock paths, they fix pipes, so make sure you find the switches. They won't always be next to you know, easy obstacles. Oh, <laughs> oh my no. gosh, Toadette. Toadette, I'm so glad you're okay! <laughs> Sorry! Would you like some chicken soup? Oh, I'm fine! Who oh, I'm really worried about is Princess Peach! Okay, maybe I should... I'll just do that. That's fine. <laughs> I don't think I want to tear up my throat. No. Hmm. Mario, can you go back to Peach's castle and make sure everything's alright? Okay! He's nodding his head. I mean, it, it looks like it. Certainly not. We need to find the evil bunny before... I don't know. Before. Bunny face. Uh-oh. Facebook again. Another message from Facebook. Da-da-da! Congratulations on getting this far. A wise man once said, If I have three hours to chop a tree, I will spend two of them sharpening my axe. That's a good saying. Who says that? I urge you now to return to Princess Peach's castle and do just that. Prepare yourselves for the fight to come. Okay. Prepare yourselves. Well, that's all well and good, but how? I got emphasis because it's capital. Yeah. All caps. But how? You may be wondering. How? In that time it took you to read this email, I've updated your operating system. Oh, well, that's peachy. It now includes a new GPS ward mechanism I call Sploing. The name is a work in progress. Anyhow, simply activate it, and you and your friends will return to Princess Peach's castle immediately. Signed, your biggest fan. So it's Syndrome. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that's amazing if true, I suppose. It's I Peach. should give it a... <laughs> Bye! Oh. Oh my gosh, Toad Voice. <laughs> toad Voice is hard. Yeah, it's, just not, it's not necessary, Kaylin. You can you can do a, a bridge Toad Voice. I'm a Toad. <laughs> oh, you gotta do Peachy. Uh -huh. 
Hello, it's a peach. How's it going? Mario, thank heavens you're all right. It's so good to see you, Mario. Hmm. Ah, you've probably noticed this, but the Mushroom Kingdom's been torn apart. You have to do something, Mario. Ah, uh, I'll think about it. Oh, um, who are your new friends? Oh, allow me, your highness. Oh. I just imagine him wearing, like, a bow tie. <laughs> yeah. I am Beepo, an autonomously intelligent scientific research and operational assistant. Yes. Hello. It means I'm smart. Yay. I see. And... Oh, uh, we call this one Rabid Ouija, and this is Rabid Peach. Er, uh, she's taking her cosplay a bit too seriously, I'm afraid. <laughs> oh, Peach is laughing. <laughs> there. I don't know. Apparently she hates her dress. I love that. Yay, more bunnies! More bunnies! Yeah, bunnies aren't polite. Yes, their friends are also quite, uh, spirited, as you can see! It appears as if the rabbits we freed from the Megabug's control have ended up here, and no worse for wear either. That's good. I know, that's actually pretty good. Uh, that makes me happy. The peach is so funny. That's right! They keep popping in, just like you did! Little, little bunnies clapping. Aww. Silly bunny, bunnies can't clap. Well, rabbits can, but... <laughs> Don't tell him that, it'll hurt his feelings. Oh, okay, I won't tell him. Oh, yes! They've been, uh, quite busy! <laughs> I suggest you take a look at what they built, if you have a chance, Mario! Hmm. Let's take a look at what they built. I believe there's something called a, a battle HQ. And then there's the museum. They love to collect souvenirs from the Mushroom Kingdom. Come, let us uh, see for ourselves what your rabid cousins have been up to. It's kind of a, you know. Whoa, wow. The music kind of got like cut off right there. Zip. But anyway, guys and gals, this is a great stopping point. Thank you so much for watching the second episodes of Rabbids plus Mario, or Mario Yay! plus Rabbids. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and tell us your favorite Rabbids character in the comment section below. And we'll see you shortly with episode three. God bless and happy gaming. See ya!